Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to divide decimals. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. The process for dividing decimals is very similar to the process for dividing regular integer numbers, except you have to account for the decimal point by moving the decimal point before you divide. If we wanted to divide 15.6 divided by 6.5, you would set it up just as you normally would for long division. We're going to say 6.5 is being divided into 15.6. In order to divide decimals, your divisor has to be a whole number. In order to change that, you're going to have to move the decimal point one time to the right. So we move it to the right to make it 65. Every time you move the decimal to your divisor, you also have to move it to your dividend. We also have to move this decimal point to the right one time. Now that we have decimal points that have been moved, you can take your decimal point in your dividend and move it straight up to where your answer or where your quotient is going to go. This decimal point will be where your decimal is located in your solution to the problem. Now we can divide just as we normally would. 156 divided by 65. Well, the largest amount of 65s that can go into 156 is 2. So it can go in 2 times. 65 times 2 is 130. Then we're going to subtract. 6 minus 0 is 6. 5 minus 3 is 2. And then 1 minus 1 is 0. So we're left with 26. Then we're going to bring down a 0. So this is going to, we're going to have a zero here. We're going to bring it down and make it 260. Then you have to figure out how many times 65 goes into 260. So it goes in four times. So now we have a four here. It happens to be 260. And then when you subtract 260 minus 260, you get zero or no remainder. So your solution will be your quotient up here, which is 2.4. So that's going to be the solution to 15.6 divided by 6.5. Let's do a couple practice problems on our dividing decimals worksheet. The first problem we're going to complete on our dividing decimals worksheet is number one. This problem gives us 8.4 divided by 2.1. So we're going to go ahead and set up our division problem. So we have 2.1 divided into 8.4. Now remember the divisor has to be a whole number. So we're going to move the decimal point to the right to make a whole number. So now it's 21. And then if you move the decimal to the right one time to your divisor, you also have to do it to your dividend. So now our dividend is going to be 84. Now that we have a whole number here, we're going to take our decimal point and move it straight up into the area of our solution or our quotient is going to go. Now you're just going to divide 21 into 84, which happens to go four times. So you say four times here. And then 21 times four is 84. And then when you subtract those, you will get no remainder or zero. So our solution is going to be four. It'd be 4.0 or just four. The next problem we're going to complete on our dividing decimals worksheet is number six. This problem gives us 40.7 divided by 7.4. So we're going to go ahead and set up our division problem. We're going to take our decimal point and our 7.4 and we're going to make it a whole number. So we move it to the right. So now it's 74. And then you're going to move your decimal. Now that you have a whole number for your divisor, you can move the decimal point directly up into where your quotient's going to go. Then we can go ahead and complete the division. So 74 goes into 407 five times. 74 times 5 is 370. Then we're going to subtract. 7 minus 0 is 7. 0 minus 7 you can't do, so you have to borrow from the 4, make it a 3, and then turn the 0 into a 10. So 10 minus 7 is 3. And then 3 minus 3 just cancels. You're left with nothing. So now we have our 0. We're going to bring down. This is going to become 370. And then 74 goes to 370 five times, which is also 370. And then when you subtract, you will get zero. So the solution to this dividing decimals example is 5.5. .5. 
The last problem we're going to complete on our dividing decimals worksheet is number 7. This problem gives us 3.675 divided by 1.05. So again we're going to take our decimal point in our divisor and we're going to move it until we have a whole number. In this case we have to move it two times. So we move it two times in the divisor, we also have to move it twice in the dividend. So it moves two times in the dividend. Now that we have a whole number, we can move our decimal point directly into the area where our quotient is going to go. Then we're going to divide 105 into 367. It goes three times. 105 times 3 is 315. Then we're going to subtract. 7 minus 5 is 2. 6 minus 1 is 5. And then 3 minus 3 is 0, or it goes away. Bring the 5 straight down. This is going to be a 5 here. And then 105 goes into 525 five times, which is also 525. And then when you subtract those, you have no remainder or just 0. So the solution to this decimal. So the solution to this so our solution to this dividing decimals example is 3.5. Hopefully this video was helpful for teaching you how to divide decimals. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.